My name is Kari Marks. I am a cattle rancher at the Berg Ranch in Lenup, Montana. We live on the sunny slope of the Castle Mountains. Before the project, it was so dense that the trees really were not very healthy trees. I think we've really opened it back up and we can really see the potential to where the grass and the range can become more healthy again. I am the uh, fifth generation on this same land. We've been here since 1890. This land right here where we're at, back in the early 1900s to 1950 was primarily used for sheep grazing. The sheep were able to keep this fairly open and as we started moving into cattle management, temperatures have been a little bit warmer, it's been a little bit drier. This area here has started to be encroached on by the trees around us here. It was taking over our rangeland, a lot of our grazing for our cows, and it was also making it harder to manage the cattle to even find them in this thick trees. We really wanted to open it back up to what it typically looked like throughout the historic use of this land. We've had equip contracts for probably over 10 years now. We worked with Jenny Paddock at the NRCS office in White Sulphur Springs. She was really helpful to come out here and help us pick which sections of land would be the most advantageous for us. The whole idea was just to reduce the number of trees so the trees could grow to be more healthy, more drought resistant, more bug resistant, just have enough water and nutrients to be better trees. We literally had some plots where we had 9,000 trees per acre. Healthy stocking rates like 100 to 300 probably trees per acre on these drier sites. They just compete with each other for light and water and nutrients and they just never can get really big and grow very well. We have not had fires move through the castles in a very a long time. And that's part of the problem why we have so much overgrowth and dead trees. We typically have anywhere from 75 to 200 year fire interval. We have not had a recorded fire over 100 acres since the 1800s. Some of our benefits for natural fire here is it thins out our tree stands and will drop our stocking densities down. It does provide some soil nutrient recycling. It will also provide some bare mineral soil. One of our main goals, especially adjacent to private property, is to allow fire to move through these landscapes without doing a lot of damage. Also to encourage more of a surface fire behavior and less of a crown fire behavior. It tends to maintain the soil and water resources in a much healthier state. 2017 is probably when we started the planning process. And then these piles were burnt just this last year. We did some brush thinning in the more open areas and then along the timber patches we did some tree thinning. We'll clean up the places that we burned the piles of the cut down trees. We will work on some weed spraying and that's pretty much all we have left on our contract. We offer cost share so it's up to the landowner to work with the contractor. We pay a set rate after the work is done according to our specs. It wouldn't have been possible to tackle such an expensive project, but with their cost sharing, it made it a little bit more advantageous. And with their ability to know where the traditional timber patches are, if we were to come up here with a chainsaw and start cutting, we wouldn't make for the healthiest use of the land. So their knowledge in those areas is also very helpful. In 2019, we applied for Joint Chiefs funding hand in hand with the NRCS to get some of our work done roughly the same time frames and in the same locations as part of our Castle Mountains restoration project. The benefits for doing work across boundaries are multiple. The big one is we can get a larger footprint of land treated and maintain that land in the condition that we would like to have it in. We can use the public land to get more use for our animals and help us make a little bit more of a profit while at the same time making the rangeland healthier. If the cattle weren't out grazing on the forest or the state lands, there's nothing else that's gonna capture the use of that land. I appreciate the fact that they're really working to work with us and make it as easy for both sides to take advantage and hopefully create a more healthy forest. I think it's gonna be a benefit for everybody. Mm -hmm.